In this video, I'm going to show you how to add social media links to your Google site. So let's get started. So first, you'll need a site which is ready. So I've made a detailed video on how to make one, and you can check it out on the top right. And once you've made it, then we can add the links. So first, just come to Google Sites. So you can search for sites.google.com, and you'll reach this page. After that, just open the website where you'll want to add the links. So I'll select this. And now we've reached the site editor. So to add the links, we'll have to go to the insert page, which is over here. And then if you scroll down, you'll find an option called social link. So now just click on this. And as you can see, we can add an icon and a link over here. And from here on, it's pretty simple. So first you'll have to decide how many links you'll want and to which sites. So I'll show you how to add one and then you can follow the same process for the others. So first, I'll add it to my Instagram page. So here on the link, you'll just have to type in your URL. So it'll be www.instagram.com slash your username. But if you aren't sure how to get this link, you can just open your page on a new tab and copy the URL from the top. So now I've added this link and now I'll need to add the Instagram logo. So I'll click on this image icon, which is on the left over here. And then we have two options to upload or select. So in upload, you can upload files which are already on your PC, but I'll just click on select because now we can go to Google images and just search for Instagram logo. And as you can see, I've got this logo and I can click on insert. So now the logo has come here. The same way we can follow this process of adding a link and then an icon for all other social media which we'll want to add. So I'll quickly add some more now. Now as you can see, I've added all of the links. If I want to add more, I can just click on add link that's here. And if I want to remove one, I can click on the delete icon, which is here. So once you've added all your links, just click on insert. And now as you can see, this box has come here, which has all of our links. So now we can format this if we want. We have these options on top. So I'll quickly show you. The first one is the icon size. You can decide if you want small, medium, or large. After that, you can decide the shape of the icon. So currently it's a circle, but you can make it a square. And as you can see, it's changed. After that, you can change the icon style, color, and also the alignment. So I can make it left aligned if I want, and now it's gone there. So once you've formatted these icons and they look as you want, then we can place them exactly where we want on our website. So let's say I want to add it to my footer that's at the bottom over here. Then I'll just click on this box and click on Control C to copy it. After that, I'll go to Edit Footer and here just click on Control V. And as you can see, the box has come here. And again, we can change the position and keep it exactly how we want to. So now the social media links have come in the footer and let's see how they work. So I'll quickly just preview the site. So I'll click on this icon that's here. And now if I scroll down to my footer, as you can see, these links have come here. And if I click on them, then here, as you can see, it's taken me to my Instagram page. So the same way for other links, just click on the icon and it'll take you to that link. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know 10 Google sites, tips and tricks, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.